Shoi Nakanasa, yes. uh, the CEO with Gitai, uh, here at the Space Symposium, the 40th Space Symposium in Colorado Springs. Thank you very much for joining us today on Australia in Space TV. Yeah, thank you for having us. Wonderful. Now, introduce us. There's a few things going on here. You're, you've already been in space. You've got mm -hmm. some robotic deployments in space. Yes. You're about to launch uh, in 2026 mm -hmm. uh, a new satellite with a robotic arm mm -hmm. to do some testing. Mm -hmm. Maybe introduce us to Gitai mm -hmm. and uh, your upcoming launch in 2026. Sure. So we at Gitai provides two types of services, and uh, one is on orbit services by developing robotic satellite equipped with a robotic arm capable of performing proximity operation, docking and life extension operations, including deorbiting operation. And uh, the other is lunar infrastructure construction, such as um, using our lunar robotic rover and lunar robotic arms. Right. Um, they're capable of constructing infrastructure, such as solar panels, communication antennas on the moon or Mars. So in our, we already have launched our uh, three robotic arms to space and one satellite developed in-house to space. And our, uh, we have upcoming tech demo uh, by launching our much larger 500 kilo size robotic satellite equipped with robotic arm along with a target satellite uh, in October next year. And our, uh, we are going to conduct um, proximity operation and docking operation as our own servicing technical demonstration. Uh, using uh, by launching SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket yep. uh, planned in October next year. Okay, now are you developing all of that? Are you using partners uh, with that or are you manufacturing and mm. building all of it? And even on the uh, sort of the, the uh, software side and the computing side, is this all in house or are you uh, working with partners? Yes, actually, we uh, built everything in house, wow. including avionics, mechanical engineering, yep. even uh, autonomous control software, uh, everything for like. Uh, robotic arm, satellite bus, and even lunar rover. Right, okay. And the is there a degree of autonomy uh, to the operation? Yes, uh, correctly speaking, it's a 99% autonomous control, right. and, uh, but uh, only 1% such as uh, important decision making, like starting uh, timing of the mission or ending timing of the mission. But right. except these um, decision making, everything has been, like, especially operations, have been conducted by autonomous control software. And I suppose the next thing, you know, the pedigree of the company, mm -hmm. uh, we mentioned JAXA and ja mm -hmm. Japanese, uh, but you're also based in California. Yes. Yeah, but how long's the company been around and the, sort of the pedigree? Yeah, it's been uh, two years. Since two years? Yeah, we have um, transferred everything, including our headquarters and our, uh, all of the manufacturing functions from Tokyo to the States uh, to look for better opportunities. Right. Uh, so specifically launch opportunities and development, what are some of your clients? Where, where would you see some of your clients and the commercialization uh, of this process? So yeah, we've been awarded uh, contracts from both governments, like NASA, DARPA, and the Japanese government, JAXA, Japan Space Agency, yep. and our, of course, commercial uh, space companies uh, in the States and Japan. And our, most of them are looking for our robotic capabilities, especially robotic arms yep. for satellite or lunar missions. But uh, recently, uh, they are also looking for our satellite bus capabilities, not only for all of the services purposes, but also uh, constellation. Um, uh, satellite constellation purposes. Right, and you mentioned because you're going to be able, able to capture mm. either potentially space debris mm. or other satellites to deorbit them. Yes. Uh, do you have a what, what's your sort of roadmap? Where how many of sort of these are on your in the business case uh, for you to, to be at appropriate scale? Mm. So actually, um, as we have just started to develop our satellite, for the beginning of last year. We already have launched one satellite developed in-house, yep. and are, we are uh, ready to provide our own orbit services by uh, October next year. Yep. So after that technical demonstration planned in October next year, uh, we will be ready to provide our own orbit services to different space sectors such as Space Force or Air Force. Right. But I, I suppose my question was, how many would you anticipate into the future, mm. 20, 30 of these satellites with robotic arms? or? Mm -hmm you're just going to sort of go and see how the market is uh, mm -hmm. and, and respond to as the market requires? Yes, I think uh, we have two steps in terms of our market um, uh, demand. So in the very short term, uh, we aim to provide our only satellite bus for constellation purposes. Yeah. And our, that uh, demand are already coming, especially uh, due to the kind of a, like confliction between 
the states and other Basari countries. Yeah. So now uh, defense space sector uh, try to strengthen such a uh, constellation capabilities for defense purposes. But in the midterm, probably uh, after 2027, they're also looking for uh, like kind of a defense capabilities to yeah. counter any potential threats for our adversaries. And uh, our robotic satellite equipped with robotic arm yeah. can be used as a that defense capabilities to counter any potential threat such as unsatellite weapons for our adversaries. Uh, I suppose one last question. We've got a uh, what's it into a uh, robotic arm here. Is the robotic arms much the same? Uh, is that adaptable? Same sort of process within the arm that you're putting on the satellite versus what we're seeing here on what looks like either a satellite or a space station? Oh yeah, it can be used as a like, multi-purposes such yes. as like, outside the ISS or satellite or even lunar rovers. Yep. So that is our kind of like strength of uh, like, scalability. Yep. So yeah, we aim to provide our robotic satellite, uh, robotic arms for multi-purposes. But Got it. yeah, definitely our main focus is to complete operations um, uh, for the satellite or uh, lunar surface. Nice. Yeah. Well, show Nakanasa, uh, the CEO with Gaite. Gaite? Gaite. Gaite. You've got to <laughs> no, say with the Japanese right. accent, absolutely. <laughs> but thank you so much for yeah. joining us on Australia in Space TV. Thank you very much. And enjoy the rest of the 40th Space Symposium. Yeah, thank you very much.